welcome back to another summer class everyone today i want to talk about progression progression really is the name of the game with galaxy of heroes whether it will be leading you to unlocking a brand new character that you love so much or giving you access to a new game mode that you really want to play now notoriously money has been the fastest way to progress in the game and while we all know a lot about ways to progress without spending money there might be a few you don't know so that's really what I want to talk about today are these hidden somewhat micro efficiencies that we all need to know about if we really want to progress our account as fast as possible. I do have them up here in the corner for us to see in quite a big font and we'll be starting off with ship shards for shard shop currency. Now this is actually one of the ones that's probably the most known because it's been true for a number of years but I find it hard to believe that everyone out there knows exactly about it. And that is the fact that if when we go into the stores where we have already purchased the majority of the characters, assuming you have already done that, you will see an option to buy a character, 10 shards of which, or a ship for shards. And immediately you think, oh, they both cost the same amount. I can get 10 or I can get four. I obviously want the 10. That should yield more shard shop currency so that I can buy more med packs or what have you. Wrong. And I don't really know if it's necessary to explain all the math behind it. The important thing is that it just ju does. I can show you this right here. I'll take one for the team. We just took the character, 10 shards as you saw there. I get 150 shard shop currency. If I go back and I spend the ex same exact amount of currency for less shards, we go into the shard shop and it's now 152. So I realize it's definitely a micro efficiency. It's only two, but these type of things do add up, especially once you realize this can be applied to a lot of the different stores. For the longest time, I was only doing the Galactic War, but Cantina Battles, now that I've finished all the characters in here, I now exclusively farm Cassian Z-Wing. And might I mention, that this is actually five shards, meaning that it's going to be even more than just that two uh, marginal or nominal number that we saw before. And even on top of that, one of the ones that I've been doing very recently, and this might not be perfect for everyone, but with this currency for guild tokens up in the top right corner, I actually specifically wait for the first order uh, Special Forces TIE Pilot ship to appear here. It will appear periodically, and I buy that instead of buying these other shards or characters, because quite frankly, I need the shard shop currency for Datacrons really more than I need Carbontes or stun guns. So that might not apply to exactly everyone, but it does apply to me and to a lot of people who are in the end game sphere. Now that we've covered that char, uh, ship shards, well, this is dangerous, uh, dangerous phrase there. Now that we've covered that ship shards are the best way to get shard shop currency when looking through the stores, I do want to also point out that we need to be paying attention. Again, this is probably more end game. We need to be paying attention to the daily deals here, especially for the people who are consistently farming signal data left and right. Because if you do this correctly, and I'll actually link a video in the description below about kind of how to manipulate this to get what you want. But if we do this correctly, we can actually get a better price in the shipments and it can become a great source of signal data, assuming you have already exhausted your 100 crystal refreshes now what you need to do to make sure that you're getting a good deal is you need to take a look at the daily deal and the crystal price it comes with and you just need to run the math which i guess the calculator is now in my face didn't see that coming but here we are so for this simple one we see here that we have 20 flawed signal data it's pretty easy to find the math on this if we just walk into the store here we see that 10 signal data is 300 so naturally that'll be 600 another 100 for the five green signal data and then another 150 for the gray signal data leaving us with 850 crystals worth of signal data which in the store is being sold at 800 meaning not only are we getting a better deal than we would if we had to go through shipments to buy signal data but you're also getting i guess some freebies for carbonite circle boards and bronzeums more in bronzeums later on in the video but this just can be a nice way to boost up your signal data without necessarily having to dip into the 200s you here for Cantina Energy and not having to actually buy them through shipments. Again, I'll link a video down below on how to make sure you can get signal data into these. The next efficiency I want to be taking a look at is one that people might have forgotten about because it's really not talked about too much. 
and that is the fact that you can actually change your in-game time to line you better up with certain events that are restricted not to the server side of events but to your local time now what i mean by this is there are two major things that happen on your own client side and that is the fact that every single day we have this timed energy more importantly there's one specific event which for me happens in 19 hours from now where we are going to get bonus mod cantina and normal energy and while you might have gotten this at one point maybe you moved countries or got a new job or time with your kids changed things to where these are no longer at a reasonable time window for you the good news and how we can be more efficient with this is you can actually change that time now i will note that this is also going to play a factor into your overall complete arena and when that is going to drop so maybe that's more beneficial for you maybe it's less beneficial for you but it is something you need to take into consideration so what you need to do to be able to change that is if you go into your settings and then into your time settings you have the ability to move this around twice per year you can see i've actually already done this once recently and now i have 327 days until i get my two other attempts but i actually still have one right now i could change this really right now if i wanted to i'm not going to because this is the current time that works for me but at any rate just realize what you're doing when you do this but just know that the specific energy that you have in game that only comes out at the one time it doesn't only have to come out at that one time and in the same respect your fleet arena payout maybe even if you don't have leviathan but if you're able to get as high up as possible at a time when you are aligned try to get that lined up as best you can to suit your needs so that is another efficiency i think that we miss out on a lot just because we assume that those times are locked into place permanently again that will not change everything some things are on cg server side that just cannot be changed so now that we have time events covered let's take a look at bronzy and wiring now this isn't a bottleneck for every single player out there but for a lot of people it is and i'm going to tell you you can actually completely kill this bottleneck if you were essentially done with fleet energy you can see here right now i only have a thousand which isn't all that much but because i have this green mk5 data pad piece up here in the top left hand corner i can actually get about 1300 more which is a bit ridiculous now where you are going to get this from is going to come from two sources a lot of you are probably already aware that this is coming from the chirotech node for the shock pride that being said you don't get that many from that overall node especially because the node costs about 10 energy to run so you're very limited into how many times you can run it throughout the day it's right here a lot of you already know about this because you need chirotex because chirotex are super important what you might not know is that once you're done getting character shards in the fleet uh in the fleet challenges you are sorry fleet battles you can come in here and you can spam 1d which will have the same exact piece at the same drop rate except for it only costs eight energy meaning you can farm significantly more so that giant stockpile of six thousand or whatever it was that's just from months of farming exclusively this node doing of course only the 50 crystal refreshes for fleet any more than that really is not a great or good use of our crystals but if you do that consistently over large amounts of time you can effectively completely kill that bottleneck and i realize you can kind of do that with some of these other ones here but i feel like this one was a lot more well known maybe we need to do a whole video on that let us know in the comment section now last but not least is going to be that the pc client has goodies and unfortunately i've already accepted my my account so i cannot show you them but if you do go and get the pc client which is by the way now open for everyone i believe we're currently in open beta meaning you don't have to have a special code to actually unlock it but as long as you have a computer that isn't totally a potato you can download it and i'm telling you this now because even if you absolutely do not want to play your mobile game on a pc i get that that's fine there are certain gifts that are coming through every single day on the pc client that are not hitting the mobile uh games one of them right now and again i can't show it to you is we are getting bonus energy very similar to how the web store is functioning except for it's not either or it's both and so if you don't have the pc client at all and you just want to throw it on some laptop you have sitting in a closet just to come in once a day and get that extra energy that will boost your overall efficiency in the game without having to actually spend money to get it regardless of which one of these is it is going to be helpful i've actually gotten lucky and gotten cantina several days in a row and that's been very nice especially when it comes to trying to relic up all of these gungans and gr characters but at any rate that is going to be our video 
let us know in the comments how many of these were you already aware of and what are some other ones that you might have found that people might not be aware of so we can all learn more thank you for watching and as always stay awesome Thank <laughs> you.